Bang it's your boy Chan once again with another video and this time around we will be objectively voting Mama Awards I think because this has different scopes we got dance performances we got best groups in general best vocal performances and best new artists so in this first video part one we will be objectively ranking or just picking a clear winner of best dance performances for both female and male groups so let's just go right in with first let's see the female groups here so let's just critique one like performance at a time we got first espa next level blew up in south korea it's huge honestly in terms of like the worldwide fan base though they're kind of 50 50 with it um espa next level the performance we're talking about the performance not the song um this choreography is kind of kind of hits hard though um but with that being said um i think don't don't be mad but i personally think that savage has a better performance than next level i think next level is a holy uh, it's it's a different song it's a great song but in terms of the performance um it's kind of just upper um upper neutral level in the mid tier for me so i think espa next level performance wise um it's in the upper mid cards so among these different uh, performances let's move on to itsy in the morning oh my god mafia in the morning i think hmm i think all all throughout the song the, the choreography is just chef's kiss it fits very well with the theme and the concept of the song um especially um that drop oh my god in the chorus um so i think it's higher than next level in espa so it's his number one so far moving on with dun dun dance okay the, comparing dun dun dance and mafia in the morning <laughs> it's night and day seriously uh dun dun dance i think it's in par with next level um it doesn't have any explosive choreography such as mafia in the morning so let's just get that out of the way but it's it's a good poppy dance song catchy i think if i would compare it it's similar to the heyday of twice wherein the choreography is just too catchy to not dance to um but um in terms of best dance performance if we're saying about performance i think it would be firstly the impact of their choreography and second how well it matches uh, the song so in terms of dun dun dance it matches the song but it's kind of low in terms of um audience impact i think that's uh, a fair critique queendom honestly I would not consider Queendom as a best per ba dance performance in this caliber. Um, I think it would be better if it's in the best vocal um, category performance wise. Um, because I haven't seen any performances I think. Um, that captivated me it's just like a good song it's a good performance but i wouldn't say it's the best among uh, these so in comparing it with in the morning which is in the lead i think it's in still in the same level <laughs> no pun intended of next level dun dun dance so we have two left 
ASAP. Oh my god. This is gonna be hard because ASAP for me is one of like the best songs. Performance wise, it's it also hits hard with the TikTok dances. Hmm. But comparing, we're just comparing the best currently, which is uh, Mafia in the Morning with ASAP. I think ASAP is higher than Next Level than Don Dance and Queendom. Um, but is it higher than oh, Mafia in the Morning? I would say not. I think. Um, and lastly, Alcohol Free. Oh my god. Itzy and Twice battling it out. Honestly, this is going to be tricky because Alcohol Free performance in the choreo it's kind of complex. Complex in a way that um, I think it's head to head with in the morning but objectively speaking what hit me the hard uh hit <laughs> what hits hardest the most between these two um i think it's still mafia in the morning for me i think it would be topping all of these performances on how it it's so iconic and there's no um bad um bad blood or anything with the other songs and performances they're all great they are nominated for a reason so i would think objectively speaking from my point of view that mafia in the morning is the best dance performance for the female group and with that being said, we will be moving into where is my cursor? We're moving into boy boy groups, male groups, dance performances. Oh, we're still here. I think I need some time to analyze butter. It's a bop. In terms of the choreography, it's smooth like butter, no pun intended. NCT 127 sticker. It's just a brand new song. Haven't seen much of the performances, so I think it would be unfair. But I'm speaking out for my personal experience, um, personal opinion. So I think it would be ranked lower just because I hadn't watched any performances yet. Hot sauce, though. The chorus part. It's sick. Ready to love. Um, shiny don't call me. And Thunderous by Stray Kids. I think I'll just keep this short. And I don't want to think any more further. Because out of my mind I think Butter would win this. But yeah. Take it with a pinch. A grain. A whole kilo of salt. I am not a boy group enthusiast or something so i'm just saying this for my personal experience i think butter should objectively win this best dance performance for male group and i think we have one more for solos we'll be right back yup i almost missed this one so let's just go right in with Jun's, um second honestly but we have a feature in there so I, I don't know why is that the reason why it's not considered a solo best dance performance nominee i don't know but personal opinion no hate on Taeyeon though um bambi hadn't seen any um performances honestly but hearing the song it's kind of like a tay taemin uh Damon like song kinda slow kinda intimate mm, I'm not cool by Hiona hits hard but Lisa La Lisa I think has to be has to be the best performance solo um Rose solo though um solo track on the ground I think it's a vocal heavy song rather than a performance but not to hate 
on Rose's performance. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm grateful that she's nominated, but I think Lisa's gonna take the cake on this one. Um, saw me though close second. I think. I think it's a tie for second place with Somi and Hyuna. That's the second place in Taeyeon weekend. I'm loving the performances where there's like skits and props. Especially, I think it's Inkigayo stage or like uh, M Countdown. I don't know, but it's like the camera shots following her. And there's a story in terms of the performances. I think it's it's a good performance, but Lalisa, let's face it, guys. Let's face it. Lalisa, performance. Lisa, performer, ate that up, ate the stage up. And I think that would be the conclusion of this first part, first video. Objectively picking out best... Um, mama best dance performances and i'll see you guys next time with the follow-up similar to this but with different categories this has been your boy chan signing off like the video if you haven't subscribe if you want to and young and peace out no hate guys no hate just objectively speaking i love everyone the groups the the artists but it's it's a it's it's a competition it's an award show we got to pick winners but at the end of the day this is i think through voting so make sure you vote for your faves guys and yeah